The constant legal and judicial back and forth over whether any individual living in any particular area in America will have access to medication abortion is not done yet. And the next judge who is set to hear a case having to do with medication abortion is a real doozy. So hold on to your butts as you find out about James Ho, who along with two other conservative judges will hear a case on May 17th. We're six days out from it at this point. Ho is the Federalist Society MAGA darling of Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, who's written very aggressive opinions, including one from 2019 in which he said that quote, abortion is the immoral, tragic and violent taking of innocent human life. Which bear in mind, I'm not a lawyer, I've never been to law school, I wouldn't have made it through. But I feel like that is not legal language, I feel like that's moralistic ethical language, that's philosophical language. But he's writing it as if it is legally grounded. He by the way, of course, was put on the bench by Donald Trump back in 2017. Uh, in 2019, he said that a trial judge's ruling which struck down a 15 week abortion ban and which was affirmed by the Fifth Circuit under the then standing row precedent displayed quote, an alarming disrespect for the millions of Americans who believe that babies deserve legal protection during pregnancy as well as after birth. And that abortion is the immoral, tragic and violent taking of innocent human life. We're gonna add one more ingredient into this vile stew. Uh, when he was sworn in, it apparently happened in this, to put up this picture, this incredibly fancy library uh, owned by Harlan Crow. So that's fun. Oh, Ted Cruz was there. So overall, a great guy. Adrian, what do you make of this? What, do you have any expectations for what this panel of three conservatives is gonna do? I think we're gonna see exactly what we have seen from these panel of conservatives that Trump had put in place throughout our judiciary is we're going to see uneducated, uninformed decision making that doesn't rely on the law or maintaining precedent or any kind of truly intellectual in depth analysis, but largely is looking to bolster Christian fascism. This ideology that we should allow these Christian biblical principles to be the law. And that's not what they are put on this court to do at all. The separation of church and state, it's as though that was a suggestion as opposed to a mandate. And that is clearly not the case based on our government. But these individuals who are out there are looking to make that the lay of the land or the law of the land, shall we say. But we know there are no laws other than those in the Bible for them. You know, I wanted to ask you more generally about some of the the recent judicial opinions on medication abortion. Um, so you, you have what appear to me to be a series of people who are technically judges, but clearly want to be either religious leaders or perhaps hosts of shows on uh, The Blaze or Alex Jones's network. Um, when you pluck a particular yeah. medication that was approved years and years and years ago that is available in the vast majority of the countries on earth, and then say, no, I don't think it should be used. Like, I'm not familiar with this ever happening before. Have you seen anything like this? Uh, no, generally, you're not supposed to interject your own personal ideology or philosophy. You're supposed to abide by the law, um, you know, back up the science. You know, when you are working in law, what you do is essentially you end up putting on a bunch of different hats. You learn all of the information by researching and reading the data. You don't just read the arguments that are made, but you ensure that you are applying facts. You apply the law to the facts. And in this situation, what these conservative judges are doing is skewing the facts. They are completely and totally, to some extent, ignoring them, creating their own idea as a set of facts, and then trying to claim, well, hey, we can't do this with the law because the law says that under these set of newfound facts that we're not supposed to uphold this medication. They're, they're just completely making up the facts. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.